afternoon. I'm Daniel Guest, and welcome to the Imagine Golf Podcast, brought to you by Imagine Golf and PXG. You can go to our site, imaginegolf.com, see all of our offerings, including our free practice plans, our practice drills, our golf ebooks and videos, or to book a lesson with me at our state-of-the-art studio right outside of Philadelphia, or virtually from anywhere in the world through our partner, thegolflibeapp.com. And you can sign up for our free tips and videos that go out once a week, every week, by simply dropping us your email. Well, today's Friday, and you know what that means. That's uh, Friday four. Four left. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's uh, Friday four is simply this, um, an episode that we go over where you can help your game, improve your game, I should say. Um, something that you, we can give you, whether it's a thought process, a technique, whatever, not a tip, um, um, strategy, but um, something that you could take with you today to the golf course. Uh, and we're going to give it to you inside of four minutes or less, starting now. So today's real simple. It's uh, change your putting grip to sink more putts. And I say that from experience because uh, personally, I mean, uh, as well as professionally. Personally, I've tried every grip in the planet <laughs> just, to, just to try to sink more putts. And professionally, um, I've seen a ton of amateurs do a ton of crazy things. So, um, we gotta, we gotta nip that in the bud, if you would. So, um, first and foremost, if you're gripping the putter like you grip every other club in your bag, stop it. If you're gripping the putter and you have one of your index fingers running down the, the side of the shaft of the putter or the grip of the putter, stop it. Um, if you're interlocking your fingers, right? Um, stop it. <laughs> I could go on and on and on. And, he, and here's why the putter is a, is a, an animal unto itself and the putting stroke likewise. So if you're not connected to the putter properly, it's going to be a problem, right? And since you don't swing the putter, like you swing a golf club, it just makes, when you just say that out loud, it just makes sense that you're not going to have that same grip if you would. So I know what you're thinking. All right. Well, I see a bunch of grips on the tour. I know, or I've tried a bunch of grips and there are. So I'm not saying there's one way to grip the golf club. I'm saying there's definitely better ways to grip the golf club, golf club. And I'm going to give you one before we leave here. But, um, you know, there's, 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 I don't know about hundreds, but there's at least a dozen ways that I'm aware of to grip the putter. Um, like people do on tour. All right. But keep in mind, right? These people on tour are the episode, uh, the 1%, if you would, uh, not even that, the 1% of the 1%, right? They are the elitist of the athletes that play golf. Um, and they can do whatever they want as long as it works for them. And likewise, you could do everything you want, anything you want if it works for you. Um, but if you're hitting 40 putts or more, it's not working for you, right? And most of you are way more than 40. So here's what's important in the putting grip. One, it's important that your hands overlap each other and that your palms almost face each other. And what I mean by that is if you grab the putter with and our, everything we do is from the right-handed perspective in the podcast, right? So if I grab the top of the putter with my left hand, I want my thumb going straight down the shaft, right? We don't want that on a regular club, but we're talking about the putter. I want it going straight down the shaft. From there, I'm going to take my bottom hand or my right hand and I'm going to overlap two fingers two fingers on my bottom hand overlapping my top hand that allows me to have the the, the other two fingers from my right hand or bottom hand on the club and I grip that club uh, that grip uh, appropriately and now I have two thumbs almost touching each other opposing each other and the palms are opposing each other as well and what you're going to notice is this now feels like your hands are one right one unit and that's exactly what the brain sees one unit right? So try this, put that top hand down, get the thumb straight down the shaft, take your bottom hand down or bottom hand underneath the club. I should say two hands over, two fingers overlap on the top hand and get those other two fingers on the club and then push your hand, your, your thumb right down the shaft. What you'll find is you'll have both heel pads on the top of the club. And now again, your hands are locked and ready to roll. All right. So I'm not even going to talk about putting. That's a whole nother issue. We need a whole podcast for that. But there is a better grip. There you have it in four minutes or less. Try it. I'm going to put um, uh, a training aid that we have down the bottom here and in, in the show notes so you can actually see a picture of what it looks like. Um, and we actually sell a, um, a grip template um, uh, on the exact grip I just described if you're interested in that. So um, that's all I have. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, please hit the follow button um, uh, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, be sure to check out our website, imaginegolf.com, and you can follow us on all the social media platforms. 
And as always, here's to getting you the game that you've always imagined.